world of YouTube land. I am on the road driving to Lansing, Michigan. Um, it is pretty rough out here. Um, I think I've made it past a pocket of really um, rough weather because um, coming into Lansing from where I'm coming in near Detroit uh, it's pretty bad out. A lot of car accidents, a lot of um, big trucks and bigger cars um, like pickup trucks or SUVs um, and actually a few um, like semi trucks um, so you guys we have to slow down in this kind of weather even though it's like the first snow sometimes like the first snow people just drive all kinds of crazy um, I am one who likes to slow down but not slow to the point where I'm you know where I'm being a hazard because you have that too where some people just drive either too fast or too slow um, and I like to drive just normal keep a, a nice pace um, but I'm not going to speed if it gets kind of treacherous and sometimes people want you to drive fast and speed up and all that stuff. It's not worth it. You have to get there safely. Wherever you're going in the world, get there safely. So, yeah, that's what's going on here. I'm just driving safely um, to a um, health and wellness conference. So that should be interesting and exciting. I would prefer if they did this like late October. I don't know if anybody's listening, the powers that be, but this was the same scenario last year. It seemed to be like the first snow of the season and it was car accidents everywhere. So, um, but just drive safely, people. We want to get there and make it alive. Um, I, if you notice, I got one of my girls out. <laughs> My husband said yesterday um, when I had my little migraine, sinus, pressure, headache going on, he's like, you're going to get on there like that? I'm like, I've already been on there like that. These are my people. Um, I'm growing my brand. I'm growing my internet family. So uh, why not be transparent and let them know and share about me? Um, for those of you or people not you but if it's anybody who um, is not comfortable with it of course they'll change the channel no big deal um, it is what it is so uh, I did insert a couple pictures in the last video I'll link that in the cards <laughs> um, and where I just like braided my hair or in the south they call it plaiting or some people call it cornrow whatever I say braiding. I braided it down. Um, and I think I have about eight braids with a little bit of hang time. My hair has grown because I didn't have, my braids weren't hanging that um, like that last winter. Um, but anyway, um, so I could, like I installed the braids so I could put my, um, this is called a Rio wig and it has a few little highlights in it um, but yeah so um, it, it's doable I told you guys in like a couple of videos before that this was what I was going to be doing this winter just giving my hair a rest um, so that top part can kind of um, get a little bit of rest uh, I think just pulling it up in the bun every day the center part gets a little weak um i can speed up it's pretty nice up here i think it was just pretty bad back that way further south so um but yeah so it, it seems to have gotten weak up here in the crown and that's probably because i wear that bun frequently um so i'm gonna i i assessed it last night because a couple weeks ago when i did the color in it to um, darken it I can see what was really going on and took it back down to a natural color and I'm not a hairdresser I just did that for my own hair um, I was able to also clip my ends so um, I 
I didn't get a chance to shampoo my hair. So I just put on like a little bit of oil um, to, you know, soften some of that old gel up. And I braided it to the back. But this weekend, I'm going to actually shampoo my hair and um, clip some more of my ends and then reinstall my braids so I can keep it like this. Because this will be my protective styling. That's what we call it in the natural hair community. Um, when we, you know, wear either a wig or any kind of hair installations. Um, then our natural hair, we just braid it and care for it. So you can take the um, wig off, you can shampoo your braids, uh, or you can just take your hair down and shampoo it. Some people, they mix it up. Some people just shampoo their braids, which is fine. You can shampoo the braids. You can use a, a wet shampoo or a dry shampoo. Go figure. So, but anyway, that's what I'm up to, just driving safely on Michigan's roads. So, yeah, that's what's going on in my world. Um, I did see this installation. I have another color of this. So, I might pull that one out, too. Because this one is kind of darker than what I normally wear. But, um, it's, it's online. So, it's called a real, R-I-O, real wig style. I forget the name of the company, but, um, I will link that below. Because I like it because I don't have to worry about a lace front. It's just a natural, like, Chinese bang. And just, you know, it, it, it looks natural to me. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, that's all I'm up to. How about you? Comment below and let me know how you're doing. And, um, please give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, share subscribe if you will and this is Carla and I'm just vlogging life I'll check back with you guys in a little bit all right So my workshop is done and I am on my way home. I will check back in with you guys when I get in the car. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Hello everybody. So I, like I said, my workshop is done. I'm just popping in here really quickly because um, the drive home is dark and um, I'll be home in about like 30 minutes or so. And um, I just wanted to check in and say that the training went really well. Um, I learned a lot. I'm interested more in this whole um, retained reflexes. So that'll be on the horizon as far as learning more about the human development from the infant toddler stage um, and what happens when uh, reflexes aren't they're being retained and they aren't developed so yeah and I actually hope that I'm saying that right because it was just like a graze over of so much um, more in-depth information that comes from learning about retained reflexes so yeah that's about it like I said I'm on my way home it's pretty dark out here so I will check back in with you guys